Welcome to the Best of Blue Ridge. This week, Michelle is experiencing all there is to offer in the world of art, right in the North Georgia mountains. Her first stop, at the Turning Leaf Fine Art Gallery, where she'll talk to the owner, Sherry, as well as two of the artists on site. From there, she drops by the Blue Ridge Mountains Arts Association and learns about the variety of arts and classes offered. So stay tuned and experience for yourself the Best of Blue Ridge. Recreation is your premier supplier for stylish pool tables, jukeboxes, arcades, and pinball machines for the ultimate in home entertainment. Make your holiday plans legendary. Home Rec, your relaxation destination. Hey, this is Shane at Home Rec, and mention Man Cave TV uh, when you come into the store and get an immediate 10% off anything that we sell, anything from pool balls to pool sticks and small supplies up to the most expensive machine that we have in the building. This year, back to school has a whole new meaning. Mercer University offers bachelor's and master's degree programs here in Henry County and online for students of all ages and at any point in their lives. Choose from programs in business, technology, leadership, health and human services, education, public safety, and more. Ranked among the top 25 best value schools in the nation by U.S. News & World Report, Mercer equips students for career preparation and advancement at an affordable price. When you've, you've graduated from Mercer, they know that you've gotten the education that you need to be successful in the career that you want to enter into. I felt like they were here to help me succeed. Recognized as Georgia's first Purple Heart University and a military-friendly school, Mercer offers educational benefits to military members, veterans, and their families. Start your degree in August with evening and weekend classes in Henry County, as well as Atlanta, Douglas County, Macon, and online. Schedule your visit and apply today at mercerforyou.com. I'm thankful I got the opportunity to come to Mercer. Moy's Health Mart Pharmacy has been an important part of our community for over 30 years. Why not bring your prescriptions to a locally owned and operated pharmacy where we take pride in providing true customer service? Our pharmacists provide a unique combination of clinical expertise and personal attention. With six locations in Henry County, there has to be a Moy's Pharmacy near you. With allergy season upon us, many of our Moy's Pharmacy customers find that our Wally Bee's pure, local, raw, and unpasteurized honey can help ease your symptoms. Moy's Health Mart Pharmacy, caring for you and about you. And welcome back to the Best of Blue Ridge. My name is Michelle Amara, and we are so excited to be here with our special arts episode, showcasing the amazing art galleries that are here right in downtown Blue Ridge. So today we are at Turning Leaf Fine Art Gallery, and I'm with the owner, Sherry, here. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. I'm going to tell you, as soon yeah. as we walked in, the place is absolutely gorgeous. There are so many different types of arts that are here. Um, I definitely recommend that you come on and see it any time that you're in Blue Ridge. So share with our audience a little bit about the different types of arts that you guys have. Okay, well, with 64 artists, I think we have just about every medium that an wow. artist can represent themselves in. We have paintings and oils, pastels, watercolors. We have uh, wood turnings, functional and artistic. We have the most unique and unusual pottery that you'll find anywhere. Wow. I actually seek out unusual party or pottery and people will say, gee, I've never seen this work mm -hmm. before. We have jewelry, we have sculptures. Um, baskets, gourd art, um, we have some of the most beautiful artwork you'll find and we have definitely some of the ugliest that you'll find. <laughs> with a, We have a potter that tries to make the ugliest face jugs ever found and I think he's nailed that one. Yeah, I love the idea yeah. of that because sometimes yeah. ugly art is the most beautiful, yes. correct? Yes. And I think you nailed yeah. it when you said that you guys have 64 artists here. I mean 64. that really just covers yeah. a wide variety of arts that oh. you guys provide. So how long have you been here on Main Street? We'll be celebrating our 14th anniversary wow. this fall mm -hmm. and we started in 2003 with just three artists and wow. now 64. Good. 
Okay, so tell me a little bit about, you are a sculptor as well as a creator of jewelry, correct? Yes. So tell me a little bit about how you got into being an artist. Well, I think I, I think I was always more or less an artist. Mm -hmm. um, I always had some creative medium my, my whole life. Um, it wasn't until about 20 years ago that I took up sculpture. I took a, a, a class that was absolutely fascinating to me and I decided to, that this, was, this is what I love to do. I work in clay, I work in bronze, I work in lightweight concrete, I have worked in glass. Um, so it's, it's an ever-changing, everything's new type of a process for me. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I wish that I had that artistic kind of thing to me, but it's just not something that I am. I've, I've tried like coloring in the lines. It does never okay. work. Oh yeah, you should never do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about some of the pieces that we have here. Um, okay, well, um, it's probably obvious that I love faces. I, faces and hands are, to me, the two most expressive parts of the body. And um, I'm fascinated with the fact that you can change one little nuance in a face and it changes the whole feel of a piece. Mm -hmm. um, the way people's hands move say something about whether they're nervous or not. <laughs> um, uh, so faces and hands are, are what I'm attracted to. Um, these pieces are kind of a cross-section. Um, some of them are very traditional, some a little less traditional. Um, um, nature comes into my work a lot. Uh, this, this was um, about the fires that we had last year. Oh, wow. um, so you, I think as an artist, all artists, not I can't speak for all of us, but we're affected by what's going on around us and um, it's reflective in the works. Um, sometimes I can tell if I go back and look at things that when eyes are closed it's it's a different feeling than when eyes are wide open. Okay. So not only are you a sculptor but you also make jewelry as well, correct? Yeah, the, the jewelry was a, a natural segue <clears throat> for me because I found a medium that is actually called clay, which it's not at all, it's mm -hmm. a metal, but it is shaped and formed like you would more or less work in, in a clay substance and mm -hmm. then it's fired and it becomes a pure metal. Yeah, I'm excited to check out some of the jewelry that you have, so let's look at a couple pieces okay. real quick. So tell me a little bit about this piece that I have on and the versatility that it has. Okay, so uh, first of all, all, all my work is one of a kind. I never do the same thing twice, either. I, I just, I can't do it. Um, so um, everything's a little different. As a sculptor, um, I translated the, the idea of sculpture that it has to look good from all angles into jewelry. So not all, but almost all my pieces can be worn short or long. They can be worn on, if they flip, or if you just want to wear it on a different different side, it's got a different look on the other side. You just have to turn the necklace around. Um, so you're basically getting four pieces of jewelry in one piece of jewelry. Now, I'm usually a person that wears long necklaces. For it to be like a shorter necklace, I was kind of a little hesitant when we were off camera, but to be honest, I love it. I love the color, I love the pop, and what it really adds to the outfit. And my favorite part is definitely that it's a custom piece. Yeah. Well, so tell me a little bit about great. the earrings. Um, earrings are, you know, I think as a jewelry artist you have to make earrings. Everybody loves earrings, women love earrings. Um, they also have some of the bronze, so they're, I, I do try to incorporate um, something sculptural in everything I make. Um, so even the earrings will have some piece of an original touch to them. Touch to them. That originality. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's amazing that you provide that just in jewelry. So do you guys have any staple or signature pieces that you guys are known for having here? Well, I think wood turnings nationwide, we probably have the finest wood turnings oh, under, wow. under one roof that you will find mm -hmm. anywhere. In fact, perhaps even internationally, although we only represent American artists, um, international artists are very impressed with what we have here. We have incredibly beautiful uh, sea life, uh, carvings of shorebirds, we have 
probably the finest segmented wood turning in the nation, if not the world. We have award-winning closed hollow forms by a local artist. We have the most unique types of pottery you'll find anywhere, including sagar fired, raku fired, crystalline, horsehair, oxblood red. These are types of potteries that people travel far and wide to find and yet you can find it all here at Turning Leaf. We have functional and artistic wood turnings. We have cloisonne enameling taken to a whole new level. We have painting with needle and thread. We have a master weaver who hand dyes and hand weaves uh, uh, wearable art as well as uh, household art. There's just so much to see. Yep. Tell me a little bit about you personally. How did you get into the whole art, the old art uh, side of things? Well, we had relocated up here in 2001, purchased mm -hmm. a cabin, and uh, we were retired. And I came to town to decorate our new cabin. I was so excited, and almost everything I picked up was made in China, Taiwan, Pakistan, oh, wow. Guatemala, or somewhere. And I thought, that's just not what I want. Mm -hmm. I want locally made art. My significant other is a master wood turner, and he was going to put his work in a gallery here in town, and somehow we decided to open our own wow. gallery. You know, your artwork is beautiful. I was just telling them off camera a little bit. I just re got a new house. I was redoing my kitchen and I've got wood everything on top of my countertop. So I'm a new fan of wood art and different things that you can put in the home. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. So tell me a little bit about being a, a wood turner and what that means and what are maybe some of your favorite pieces of art to put together? Wood turning is actually one of the oldest art forms. The, uh, the lathe that we use to, to create all of the work is actually over 4,000 years old. It's the first power tool in existence, and it was never designed to turn wood. It was actually designed to spin metal. Wow. It predates iron by 1,000 years. They, they would take a, a piece of uh, bronze or mm -hmm. gold, pound it down into a flat circle, put it between two centers, spin it, and with a, hardened, a fire hardened stick would actually form chalices and things like that. A thousand years later when iron was invented, they decided that what they could do is turn wood with it. And it was only royalty that actually did it. And as time went on, the only difference in the lathe, the only thing that's really changed in the lathe from 4,000 years ago is the material it's made of and how it's powered. So this is actually a very, very old art form. And um, it's really, we're the original recyclers. Everything we use is something that came down in a storm, was taken because they're gonna build a house somewhere, but no wood turner that I know cuts down trees to create the art that they do. And you're, you're definitely teaching me some things here because I thought wood art was from like carving, so I had no idea that it's like this turning process that you do. No, it's, it's completely different. And also, uh, many people think that it's very similar to pottery, where it spins and you create something. Mm -hmm. We're subtractive art, we take things away. Once it's gone, it can never be put back. back. Clay, if you mess it up, you just squeeze it all together and start <laughs> over again. But with wood, you can't do that. You have to actually visualize the piece that you want to create inside that piece of wood and you'll work with grains and different color patterns and things like that. That's how you create your art. So what, is, what are some of your most favorite pieces to create? My favorite pieces, uh, everyone is the favorite until the next one. And so there's no way to say which is my favorite. It's like, which is your favorite child? You can't, you can't say that. They're all my favorites. So now we have 64 American artists and maybe a dozen or so from around the nation that bring yeah. some of the very best work in the nation to downtown Blue Ridge. See, that's so. amazing. And I know anytime people are, there's a lot of people here that maybe have retired or come up here, you know, for a short vacation. Yep. Blue Ridge is not far from the south side of Atlanta. It's something you can do just in a weekend getaway. And I know I personally, I'll always come looking for something, a unique piece that I can find to add to my house or something that I can, a special gift that I can pick up for a friend or family member. Yes, and people do want locally made. I get mm -hmm. requests all the time. I mean, you can buy a Christmas ornament in just about any shop. And I have a lot of people who said, but I want American made. Mm -hmm. We've got it. Awesome. We've got it. Um, and it's, it's very, it's something that we're incredibly proud of, to give American artists a, a place to represent their work without trying to compete with mass-produced imports. Actually, I've been here since the very, very beginning. Mm -hmm. We started this gallery almost 14 years ago, and it was my work, Sherry's Art and Baskets, uh, yeah, Baskets and Photography, and uh, we had a little lady from Denmark who made bowls that you could sit in. And it was just the three of us that started this gallery, and we've gone a long way in 14 years. Well, I have loved and uh, learning about Turning Leaf today, and I want to definitely encourage the audience to come out here to Turning Leaf Fine Art Gallery right here in downtown Blue Ridge. I am Ethan with the Turning Leaf Gallery, and uh, we have some very interesting photos online, so be sure to check out our website at turningleafwoodart.com. Coming up next, we'll see how the courthouse in Blue Ridge was transformed into a thriving arts community.
So what is local television? To me, local television is bringing local businesses to the people, finding out that restaurant that you've never eaten at that actually is really good, or finding a little place to go to take the kids that you never knew existed right here in our hometown. I think of the local businesses that make it up, the local nonprofits, and most importantly, the local people that live in that community. We're here from the McDonough area. We live uh, not too far away from here. So what are you going to see when you watch SCBTV Channel 182? And you're going to see the place where you go and hang out with your family on Friday night and maybe even the local drugstore where you pick up your prescriptions. To me, the local news is bringing all the happenings of the community to your home. So at SCBTV, we want to mirror the programs that you see on the larger networks, but we want to do it with the businesses that you eat, shop, and play every day. You can watch SCBTV on Charter Channel 182 in seven counties south of Atlanta. And even if you don't have Charter, you can still watch us online, on demand, or via live stream direct from our website at scbtv.com. For the largest selection of tile, wood, and stone, come to Floor & Decor. You're going to see great selection. They've got everything. The selection here is just monstrous. Huge variety. When I walked in, I was amazed. Like, whoa, look at this. The other stores, they have a, an aisle, that lonely little aisle. <laughs> Tons of selection. You can't get any better choices anywhere else. Wow, I cannot believe this selection. Floor & Decor, six Atlanta area locations. Choosing the right bank can be tricky. Should you go with a large bank, a small bank, or maybe somewhere in between? Sure, any of these choices can keep your money safe, but what do they actually do with the money you deposit? Larger corporate banks often use your money to finance projects in other cities or states, even other countries. But community banks keep your money local, investing it in projects that help your friends, neighbors, and small businesses nearby. It's simple. Investing in a community bank means investing in the community where you live and work. And Heritage Bank is the best choice for community banking in Henry, Clayton, and Fayette counties. When you bank with Heritage, your funds support local businesses and families that you know and trust. As the only community bank covering the Tri-County area, we work hard to build long-term local relationships. Our lending decisions are made locally by folks who know the area. We're dedicated to helping our customers save money, and we're proud to invest in you. So bank locally with Heritage and support your community. Your neighbors and your wallet will thank you. Stop by your local Heritage Bank branch, visit our website, or give us a call to get started today. I want to thank you guys for watching SCB TV channel 182. My name is Michelle Amara and I want to take a minute out of this episode to let you guys know why we're able to do this series called The Best of Blue Ridge. I'm sitting here with Caesar, who is the president of the Blue Ridge Business Association and you guys are the reason why we've been able to get this show together. So I want to thank you and mm -hmm. I would like to share with the audience a little bit about what you guys do at the Business Association. Sure. The uh, Blue Ridge Business Association is made up of about 135 businesses. Uh, not all of them downtown, but a, a majority of them are downtown. And our mission really is to um, develop and, and highlight the businesses of downtown Blue Ridge. Um, get people to come up and visit our town, go into our shops, go to our restaurants, um, and really just enjoy themselves. Um, that, that is what we do, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing this. We do a lot of sponsorships like this where we um, bring these opportunities to the businesses of Blue Ridge so that they can have the kind of thing, a uh, TV spot, uh, spot like this. We have magazines that we help sponsor. Uh, there's a lot of those type of opportunities we bring to the businesses. Well, I think it's always great to have, you know, one of my mottos has always been that collaboration is key and it's important to kind of do things together. And when you have an association like this, you guys really are working together for the same common ground and that is to help the local businesses grow. You That's know? correct. At SCB TV, that is our motto. That's who we are. We are local. We are community. And I'm so excited that we're able to do that exact same thing, but in Blue Ridge, Georgia. Yep. Thank you. Yep. So thank you so much for being part of the show and helping us get together. And we are looking forward to maybe a season two. Who Hey, you're always welcome back. <laughs> Thanks so much. Stay with us for the best of Blue Ridge right here on SCB TV. Serendipity of McDonough and Locust Grove is your one-stop shop for all things personalized. We do everything from monogramming to vinyl, from wedding gifts to baby gifts, you name it, we can do it right here at Serendipity. 
once you come to Serendipity, you're not only a customer, you're also a part of the Serendipity family. One thing that sets us apart is our monogrammer has over 15 years of experience. Um, I enjoy the atmosphere at Serendipity. Everybody's friendly, always nice and respectful. I also like to purchase personalized gifts for family vacations. Okay, the set cup is really cool because it keeps the drink really cold. We also do a lot of commercial here at Serendipity. Anything from hats to polos to jackets to ball uniforms, we pretty much can do it all. So if you're a small or large business, looking for shirts for your employees or for yourself, give us a call at one of our locations and we'll be more than happy to help. Make sure you come see us at our two locations in McDonough at 397 Keys Ferry Street or in Locust Grove at 507 Tanger Boulevard. TV Channel 182. We are here in downtown Blue Ridge with the new series called The Best of Blue Ridge. And I'm now here with Jennifer, who is the marketing director for the Blue Ridge Mountain Arts Association. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You, know, you guys have a gorgeous place here. I right hear it is the old courthouse in town. It is. It's a historic courthouse. We've been here almost nine years. Oh, wow. um, when they built the new courthouse, we were able to move in here. So it's been a very good home for us. We're able to expand and do all the things we've always wanted to do. Awesome. I know we're standing here kind of in the entranceway and there's artists that are painting, I can hear music, there's dance classes, so there's so many fun things that you guys do. Share with our audience a little bit about what you guys do here. Wow, there's a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we are a nonprofit art council here in Blue Ridge. We've been an organization for 37 years. Okay. Uh, we've kind of moved around different locations until hopefully this will be our permanent home now. Right. Uh, we have classes, we have festivals, we have two Arts in the Park festivals. One's coming up in October, the second weekend in October. So what is the Arts in the Park? Um, we have Let's see, about probably 170, depending on which festival it is, 150 mm -hmm. to 175 different artists. It's oh, wow. a juried festival. So we have all kinds of fine art that's there, and we have um, food vendors, everybody mm -hmm. set up. So, and it's just, we, it, we have like 15,000 people that oh come through into the area because of that. And the Arts Association, along with um, our festivals and things, we have about a $600,000 economic impact on the area. Wow, that's that fantastic. Has been and you know, we've been, we've been out and about in Blue Ridge today, and I've, I've heard on several of the spots that we've been that arts is a big thing here. Absolutely mm -hmm. and it's funny because I grew up in this area and I've been here for a long time mm -hmm. and seeing the difference in this area now um, as to where it used to be when I was a kid mm -hmm. um, it's totally different. Wow. We arts have become we're actually one of the top five art towns now wow. uh, because the Georgia Council for the Arts has us designated and uh, it's been great to watch this place come back to life. We have classes, hey. music, art, we have a summer camp during the summer just the for kids. kids. love it. Yes. Thanks. It's great. Wonderful. Especially mm -hmm. with a lot of the arts and stuff that's getting left out in schools and mm -hmm. stuff. It's really nice to be able to nurture that. Mm -hmm. um, we have multiple galleries. This is all member arts. We have different exhibits uh, like the Richard Lowe Evans um, in this gallery and here. This changes about every month. Mm -hmm. We have a studio gallery. Um, we have an exhibit in there about every month as well. Uh, the member artists, they can come in and switch out art. Once they're a member, they can bring in stuff to sell. So we really so try is, to promote. What is a member artist? Sorry, I'm in your No, it's what, fine. What does that mean? Um, well, we are member based. This is a nonprofit, so anytime okay. anybody joins and if they are an artist, okay. then they can come in and sell their work here. So it gives oh, them, wow. yeah, gives okay. them good exposure as well. So we really try to promote our artists as well as the art in the entire area. Uh, my name is Camille Day. I'm a fine artist. I work in oil and pastel. I found my passion early in life. Mm -hmm. um, I've always drawn and painted, uh, but I've never been able to pursue it for full time until. Um, the last 10 years. Having a place like this has allowed me to treat this like a job. If I want to be a fine artist and make my living at it, I have to be here every day and having this studio has allowed me to, to really treat it like a job. I come in every day, I work hard and that's what it takes to get better at your craft. Uh, for someone who wants to do uh, their art full-time, I believe it takes at least 10,000 hours of effort. It's hard work. Anything you want to do and do well takes a lot of hard work. 
So I know that you guys um, have studios here, correct? We do. So yes. do you rent the studios out to different artists? We do, but we have two studio galleries up there. They rent those and they're able to do their work and sell it up there. Um, and it's basically their working studio. So we've been able to expand, you know, and do so many different so things many different now. Things. Yeah. Arts is so important in a community. It is. And not it just is. like the art part with painting and sculpting and all, but the fine arts part with Absolutely. the music and the dance. So Jennifer's doing a great job showing us around the gallery. Where are we at now? All right, we are in one of several of our different galleries here. This is the studio gallery. Okay. We uh, received a grant a few years back. We were able to transform this into a whole other gallery and put gallery lighting and all that. So this is our 3D show right okay. now. It's called Off the Wall. Um, about every month or so, our exhibits will change, except for our member art. And we try to highlight, as you can see here, this is all 3D art. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some paintings on the wall as well, but we try to incorporate different type of art into our um, organization. Okay. So we have photography and painting, and, and obviously what you see here is the 3D, which could be clay or, um, well, really, if you look around, it's a little bit of everything. Absolutely. Anything 3D. And you know, it really pops out, literally like 3D pops out. <laughs> that was a good. Joke, sorry. Um, but it really pops out to you. When I walked in immediately, there are several pieces on the wall that are my favorite. I can just let you know there's one with the pink and purple. Uh -huh. I mean, just beautiful colors. Yes. It's great just to see the different artists. So how many different artists are in here, I guess? Oh gosh. In here, there's probably at least, oh, I would say 25, 30 different artists. Wow. And we do have around seven, 800 members. Mm -hmm. And there's actually probably closer to a thousand. About 700 of those are all artists. So we don't necessarily, you know, have all of their artists artwork but we are very eclectic in what we have that's and good. we have so many different kinds of artists so that's, that's awesome to it have is that, for it sure. is yeah and we you know we try to promote all of them and, and just pretty much celebrate it all right so now we're actually here in the yoga and dance studio right yes, you guys definitely have a little bit of everything we do um, uh, like literally we have a little <laughs> bit of everything we have um, we have a kids ballet uh, miss Roseanne Tuttle um, she teaches kids ballet here we do ballet tap and I believe she does jazz and we also have an adult uh, tap and bar class and they do like toning and tap dancing for adults what is tap um, and bar mean I don't understand that well it's partly um, um, it's bar partly work, yeah, <laughs> partly the tap, and then partly they do uh, uh, toning and bar work okay. and stuff. Where it, it's pretty intense. I did it one year. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> so we did that. Um, we also have yoga. Okay. So we have yoga here. We do restorative yoga. Um, we have two ladies. It's they kind of have invented their own. It's trademark now. Mm -hmm. um, so we have different yoga classes here. So it's literally just a little bit of everything. We just it's just a matter of scheduling, you know. Yep, I understand so. that. Well, that's great. You guys yeah. have a great facility here. Thank you. A true asset to the community yes. for sure. What is one or two positive things that you've seen the Blue Ridge Arts Association do for the community? Well, I tell you, um, being a native of the general area mm -hmm. and seeing how we were years ago after we had a, a mining company that was shut down and it affected all of our area, and when there's no jobs, there's no people. And I'm seeing um, the arts in this area obviously awesome. just growing and, and truthfully, um, we are pretty much a, a very fantastic hub for that. Mm -hmm. and. Um, 
it's a great organization. I've been here, uh, gosh, eight years, I guess, and it's positive. It's a positive environment. It's about the artist. It's about the community. It's just a wonderful place to be. Awesome. That's exactly what we are, about the community. Absolutely. So we definitely appreciate you taking the time to Thank speak you. with us. We're excited to share with our audience literally the best of Blue Ridge. Thank you. And you can definitely count you guys on that list. Thank you so very much. Thank you guys for watching SCB TV. We'll see you next time.